In this demonstration, we're going to configure monitoring using Azure Monitor for an Azure Stack HCI cluster. So the first thing we do is we start in the Azure console. And what we're going to do is create a log analytics workspace. So we go to create a resource and we type log analytics, and then we select log analytics workspace. This is going to store all of our log data and we're going to use it for analysis of that data. So we select our subscription, we're going to create a new resource group, we call it ASHCI Monitor. Click OK. Give the analytics workspace a name, Tawin Traders HCI Monitor. Click Review and Create. It goes and creates that log analytics workspace. When the deployment's complete, we click go to resource. And what we need to do is we need to go into the advanced settings and find out the workspace ID and the key to get access to that workspace ID. So we go to agents management. And we can see here we've got no Windows computers connected. So we get the workspace ID and we paste that across to Notepad. Because we're going to use this in a command a little later. The other thing we need is the primary key. So we copy that and we paste that. And for those that are clever, I will be removing these before these are published. Okay, so let me show you the general process of installing this agent. I go to files and file sharing in Windows Admin Center. I connect to each node. I create a folder on each node. I call it MMA agent in this particular case. I go into the MMA agent folder and then I upload the agent I have downloaded from the internet to this particular folder. So what this is doing is that this is putting this particular binary on the Azure Stack HCI node. There's a variety of different ways that you can do this, but this is how I've chosen to show you here. I then log on to the Azure Stack HCI node. It gives me the sconfig menu. I jump down to the command line. I'm on node four. I go to the MMA agent directory. I then extract the agent files. And once I do that, I can run a setup.exe command and specify the workspace ID and then the workspace key. And that will install the agent without worrying about going through the GUI and pasting those bits of information in for me. So I run that command, it runs. Now, it's a good idea to actually then run the setup anyway, and then just have it go through and check that the installation's worked. So in this case, I've just saying, go and repair it, even though it doesn't really need a repair. It just makes sure that the service is running. I finish, and then I run the agentcontrolpanel.exe file. And what that allows me to do when I run it is it allows me to go across to Azure Log Analytics and verify that it actually has installed and connected correctly to that Log Analytics workspace. So I then go back in through Windows Admin Center and I click on Azure Monitor and then I click Setup. And what it does is it detects the agent, detects where it's connected, and then I click Setup. And what it's going to do then is configure which telemetry is sent up to Azure. So I go back to my Log Analytics workspace and I click Agents Management. So in the background there, I've deployed the agent on the four other cluster nodes and I can verify that I have four Windows computers connected, in this case, the Windows computers or Azure Stack HCI nodes. I can then go to the agent's configuration and I can see that the log name that's being uploaded to Azure is the Microsoft Windows dash health slash operational log and that's giving me error, warning and information items. What I can then do, is I can come down and look at the solutions that are available for this particular set of log data. For example, I can click on service map and that will show me the services that are running on a particular node and how they work with the network. So we can see here that I've got node one and node two. I click on node one, it'll load the map data. That's a little hard to see. So I click on zoom in and I can see there that I have all of the ports and the services that are associated with those ports. So that's one of the bits of information I can pull using Log Analytics. I can go to the workspace summary 
and from the workspace summary page, I can click on logs and it'll give me a whole lot of tools to go and query that log data. For example, request count trend, operations performance, page views trend, slowest pages, obviously if it's hosting a web application. Now, these are Azure Stack HCI nodes and we're interested in their virtual machine performance. So we go down to virtual machines and that will give us a whole lot of log data and queries that we can run against virtual machines. So for example, we can look at here what data has been collected around virtual machines. It'll go and query that data. And we can see that there's a lot of performance counter data and performance count of items where telemetry is being uploaded from those Azure Stack HCI nodes to this log analytics workspace where we can perform analysis later on. Anyway, in this particular demo, I showed you how to install the log analytics agent, set up a workspace, configure the log analytics agent, and then what you can do with that log analytics data once an Azure Stack HCI cluster is connected to Azure Monitor.